session doing this and it's a hand touch. So a hand touch is when they come along and boop their nose off the palm of your hand. Wow! And the point of this is it makes a really fantastic recall because if you put your hand down and they come the whole way and touch it they're in catching distance. It's also a good way to move them around in the house if you want to get them from one position to another. Say if they're on the sofa and you want to get your favourite spot back, pop your hand down for the hand touch, they jump off, touch your hand and there's no conflict involved at all and you can get them to move past distractions by focusing on your hand instead. So I'm going to basically train this by rewarding an accident. If I bring her around here so that you can see better. I'm going to put my hand out to the side of her face. She will inquisitively turn to see what's in the hand. There's nothing, but whenever she touches it, I pop the treat into the hand that she's bumping. Good. That's because I want all the value to be in this one and not the other one, because then she'll just skip this one to get to this hand faster. And then you've got no hand touch, and then she's not necessarily coming this close. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down the side of the face. Yep, little touch, there it goes. very chewy one. Okay, so now she's doing that quite nicely. I'm going to add a bit more challenge to it by bringing the hand further away and seeing if she'll go to the hand rather than me just placing it beside her. So I'm going to pop the treat away. Now when she comes back towards me, I'm going to pop this hand out to see if she'll come towards it. If she doesn't, it means that she just doesn't understand it. Yay! Quite as well yet. Yeah. So then just keep going beside the face until they do figure it out. That's a good girl. Sometimes if you give them a second, they will think it through, but it depends on what kind of dog you have, what their personality is like, whether they'll think something through or they'll just look at you for direction. She does think it through. I'm going to throw another treat away. You watch it. And then present the hand for her coming back. Good. That's very good. Okay, so I've started this in the hallway because it's nice and low distraction, um, but I'm going to be able to take that out to the garden to work on it next to add a bit more distraction in, see if she can come the whole way back. And I'll start probably very close to step one again, if she struggles especially. Go right back to step one, straight beside the face, rewarding that. And then I'm going to go to a bit more of a, a recall style where I'm going to move a few steps back, present the hand for the hand touch and reward and then we're going to take that out on walks as well so at the very least she'll be on a long line and present the hand and she'll hopefully then run back touch the hand so let me know how you get on with that and if you have any questions <music>